Logan Howard, Brock Kulicki set to take the opening draw as we're underway. Logan Howard winning that draw, but Lloyd Minster gains possession, and Kowalik takes over for the Bobcats. Line. Centering pass, that goes through every stick, finds a shot, scores. Kate Fendelet in the slot, capitalizes on a turnover and makes it 1-0 Bobcats. 15-18 left to play in this first period. As his shot is blocked, gathered up, Monroe lets it go, scores! Luke Monroe, tie game! Luke Monroe in the high slot, finds the back of the net, and with 13-17 left to play in this opening period, Sherwood Park ties the game at one. 30 seconds left in the power play. Monroe lost it in his skates, regains possession, and now pokes it back to Miller, holds possession. Miller into the slot, lets a shot go, scores! Tyler Miller on the power play. Sherwood Park's got a 2-1 lead. In the middle of January, before it gets nice and warm later on, walking in his Kowalik, shot turned aside by Roost, rebound put off the goal post, and eventually Roost able to find it. Now Kowalik foots it over the goaltender, and it's 2-2. Tyson Kowalik, goal number four on the season, ties the game at two. Period. And it's chipped ahead quickly by Brock Krulicki. He picks up Krulicki right in, fires a shot. Oh, he rang it off of Roost. Oh, no, they're going to call it a goal. Brock Krulicki, 13 seconds into the third period, gives Lloyd Minster the lead. In. Goes back down low for his D partner, Asaley up top for Campbell. Back to Asali in the slot. He'll dish off. Christensen in. Fires. Scores. Cade Christensen picks the corner. And Sherwood Parks tied the game at three. Hard. And kept in nicely there by Krulicki. Power play. Initial power play expires as the puck exits the zone. Bygrove going to have to be quick. And an opportunity here. Budinger shorthanded. In. Shoots. Scores. Khaled Budinger shorthanded goal. Sherwood Parks got a 4-3 lead. And now, knocked down by Miller. Back the other way, here comes Cooney. He'll drop for Miller, lets a shot go, scores! Tyler Miller, second of the game, 5-3, Sherwood Park. The net has kept in at the line, shot again, that one blocked. The Crusaders doing a good job getting into the lanes here. And now an opportunity for Carmelo Crandall to break in. Crandall gets around his check, cuts to the net, scores! What a goal by Carmelo Crandall! And Sherwood Park's got a 6-3 lead. On three power play on Sherwood Park's penalty kill. Comes up large. They kill off all five they face. And they pick up a 6-3 win here tonight at the Randy Rosen rink. Bouncing back after dropping the game back on Wednesday.